All right, so the Woody Quad is all glued back together. And I've removed air mode from the mode switch, so there's no more air mode. And I'm just going to go out and do a quick test to make sure that angle mode, altitude hold, and nav hold are working. And then we'll get back to the regular testing to see if I can get the pitch wobble out of it or oscillation. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. Ooh, that might be nine there, might be nine satellites. All right, so let's just give it a hover test. Hopefully, gonna spin up the motors. There we go. It's a little windy. All right, bring it back here a little bit. Hey, there's altitude hold mode. Still works. I'm going to try GPS hold just for a second. Wait, let me get a little higher. And over here a little bit, because there's wind. Okay, GPS hold. You can see it shaking there a little bit. Okay, back to altitude hold mode. Okay, so it still pretty much works the same way. I'm going to bring it back over a little bit. Alright. I think there's a little shakes in it too with the... Uh, even in angle mode there might be, but we're in altitude hold. Okay, GPS hold again. You can see the shakes. Okay, back to altitude hold. Okay, I'm going to bring it back over here and land it. I think we've proven it's still the same. Yeah, let's land it right there. All right, safe landing. So we're trying to get out the pitch oscillation in GPS mode. And I need something that affects the GPS mode pitch but doesn't affect the other modes. So on the computer, I've got a document up here I found on GitHub. Had to do a little bit of searching, but this basically lists all of the parameters. And uh, in clean flight, I searched this document, which is on clean flight, put in oscillation, and I came up with just one hit. And that was for this variable right here and it says it's supposed to be 180. There's also some other ones that go with that like the 15 and the 100. So I went looking for 180, 15, 100 in clean flight. So let's go ahead and connect. Okay, connecting. Go to the PIDs and it turned out this one down here was 180, 15, 100, but I changed this to 170 just a little bit ago by going in the CLI and actually setting this variable right here. I set this variable to be 170 instead of 180 because I wanted to see if it would show up in clean flight in the PID tab, and it did show up right there. So I know that's the one. So that's the one I want to try changing. It's the velocity xy which in this document is this right here nav underscore mc for multicopter velocity xy p gain so if the gps senses that the quadcopter has moved out of position and it has to adjust the xy the x or the y axis it will use this gain here and it says too much p might cause nervous behavior and oscillations so this is the only one I could find that actually said that. The others don't say that they cause oscillations, although I'm sure some of them could. The best thing to do would be to lower this P gain and then try it again and see what it does in GPS mode. So that's what I'm going to do. I've got it down at 170 right now, and I'll probably just try it at that and see if it makes any difference. So we've got seven. Well, let's go ahead and try it. All right, we'll spin it up. Uh, okay. Oh, 
punching it up there. Altitude hold. Wind keeps blowing it back. I'm only in altitude hall. All right, let's just go for GPS, see what it does. Hey, there it's rocking again. I don't think it's quite as bad, though. All right. I'm going to bring it back down. Bring it back down this way. Right about there is good. All right, descending. Altitude hall, just descending. And cut the throttle. There we go. I think that's the best way to land an altitude hold. Okay, so let's knock that parameter down a little further. I think I'm going to get really brave and knock it down to 150. Just see what happens. Put it down at 150. Do a save. All right. Now we'll disconnect. And we'll try it again. Alright, there's altitude hold mode. Alright, let's, let's go to GPS mode. There it is. Seems better, yeah. Still begins to rock a little, but seems better. All right, back to altitude hold. Get it back over here and start landing. There we go. All right. So I'm thinking now, after reading this, that we might need to put a little more D-gain on because the D-gain is supposed to dampen P and I. And it says increasing D might help drone overshoots. So if we, uh, if we do that, maybe that'll stop the rocking a little bit. So I'm going to increase the 100 to 120. 120. We'll just save that. Battery on is getting kind of low, so this will probably be the last test for today. All right, altitude hold mode. All right, let's flip it in GPS. A little bit of rocking. I didn't notice a lot of difference there. All right, let's bring it down. So I didn't notice that that uh, D gain helped much. I'm not really sure what's going on. So for my next experiment in the probably the next video, I might try just lowering all three of these on the velocity X Y. Take this down to 90 maybe make this 10 and this 50 and just see if all of them together lowering that helps if that doesn't work or in addition to that I may go to the uh, advanced tuning here and there's some weights right here that have to do with GPS and I might try the horizontal position weight and speed right here and see if I can do something with that and see how that affects it. But that's all for the next video. This one's long enough. So I'll end it here and we'll get back to it later.